Did you sleep well? Your coffee is next to the bed, okay? Make a change. I know we walk for days, losing hope, fading love. This night will be okay. Waking up to another day. Official good morning from Uppington, the Protea Hotel. We are officially on our way back, Rix. On our way. I had a lovely night's sleep, Rix. Yeah. That bed was amazing. And it didn't make a noise like a <laughs> blow up mattress. <laughs> okay, yeah. but let's hit the road, Rix. Let's go. And yeah, back to Bloom. Yeah. First, go pick up Bella and Buta. Bella and Buta. Very excited to pick them up. Right, cheers. about two and a half months after after our trip we made it back safe and sound after our, our quite scary last night I must admit but nothing happened yeah nothing happened but it was it was intense I must admit but nothing happened I I can't explain it to anybody though but we made it over and done with yeah we, we are still living in the memories of our brilliant yeah. trip it's so lovely to edit I must yeah. say and just like go through the memories it's amazing to edit i've been enjoying it so much makes you experience everything over and over that's again that's so true so yeah, yeah. it's it's very really lacking it's brilliant to do it for you guys yeah our <laughs> huge community <laughs> i must say yeah. um i was telling Lucas as well our kruger trip was super difficult to record and vlog because you don't know who your audience is like we were doing it but we were like okay only our friends and family are going to watch this vlog we are saying hey guys but only yeah. our friends and family are going to watch and now at the Khalakhari I must say it was so much easier to vlog yeah. because you knew who you were doing it for you knew you actually had people other than your friends and family yeah. that and were uh, watching you had more people to hopefully not disappoint yeah. <laughs> first and foremost how amazingly green was the Kalahari. Oh. Uh, I think I got the wrong impression of the Kalahari um, going for the first time and it looking like this. Like and with so much water. So much water, yeah. so much long, long grass. I don't yeah. think we saw as much game as what we could have when it's drier, but it was still very special. Yeah. It was beautiful. I think you... I, I enjoyed it. I think you will never ever actually experience a Kalahari again like this. I would love to go back when it's like super dry. Like yeah. I want to go back in the winter when it's like super super cold. Rikas is not too keen to go back in the winter. I 
very badly want to go back in the winter. I want to like cuddle up next to the fire and <laughs> you know freeze You're need to death at night. I'm not be there. <laughs> Whatever. So what was strange about the Khalakhari Riki is that we didn't get any snakes or scorpions in camp. Or well, we got that one tiny it was literally this big lying in front of a hole it looked like a rubber band it looked like a rubber band it was so small but and we got a lot of snakes in the park in the, in road. the road you saw a lot of roadkill of them yeah. like every like every couple of meters yeah. there were dead little sand snakes because there were hundreds of them in the road every second bird of prey had a little sand snake in their mouths that was crazy even the um the varro that we saw the ones it was in the road with the sand snake in its mouth. On the topic of birds, I think we ticked off about 80 different bird, bird species. species yeah. It doesn't have a big variety of birds. So we almost saw close to let's say 40 40 percent of the birds you can see. I think see it's there. just got over 200 250 if I'm not mistaken we'll add it in here yeah. how many bird species the Khalakhari has especially birds of prey a lot of birds of prey but saw two pygmy falcons they are so cute they are like this big they're all the cutest things under the sun you'll mistake them for another bird we saw two of them on our way to Roy Pitts, but we were so tired after the uh, days traveling we still had to go set up tent and so on and we were like we will see them again we'll definitely will see them again Ricky, we, did we didn't see, see them again very disappointed. I was just so very, very disappointed. It's the cutest bird, especially like bird of prey to find yeah, out because it's so small. We were just like, no man, the Northern Cape is full of them. We see them constantly in Mukala. We definitely will see them again in the Khalakhari and nope. Okay. We were also sad to not see uh, the violet ear wax ball. The wax balls were very, very few. Like in Mukala as well, which is also in the Northern Cape, there are tons of wax balls. Yeah. It's like full up, full up with wax balls. We'll have to go to Mukala and show you guys some wax balls. Absolutely. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned for our Mukala trip. When are we going on our Mukala trip? Diesel price goes down. <laughs> a few things that we didn't see, unfortunately, was a leopard. Any hyena. Yeah, any hyena but we were very, we were looking forward to the brown hyena because you've never seen one. Now we must go back. Now we have to go back or to Pilansburg because there's like they like full up there and the cape fox i know a leopard and the cape fox are like the a resident leopard and cape foxes at pulenswa somebody has just seen the leopard at pulenswa at the bathrooms and the cape fox as well is now chilling there at pulenswa <laughs> i don't know how you get cape foxes in the Khalakhari. it's quite far from cape Town. <laughs> so rick's talking about what we did not see <laughs> what is your favorite thing that we did see what was your favorite sighting your like these questions really <laughs> it's, it's difficult to answer the batted foxes that we actually saw running across the road uh, they were chased by jackal like coming from let's say 100 150 meters inside the into the felt yep. the huge pride of lions we got at Berlin's one water hole was absolutely amazing my absolute favorite one was was the morning that a lion actually woke us up by by roaring and just announcing its presence <laughs> on the Berlin's pan and then just driving to, to the water hole, chilling and watching doves and then just seems to have been there out of the, the grass, he's just chilling. Always scan the area before yeah. you leave. <laughs> if we didn't um, scan the area, then we wouldn't have seen him because he was lying flat in the grass yes. and he just looked up a little bit and then he went and lay flat for another 10-15 minutes said, yeah, yeah. before he got up and roared and put on a show for us. <laughs> I want to say that made the trip because there's a lot of other special things but in terms of how I feel about a male lion it's just something about it is yeah. it's, it's just majestic. Stace, what did you see that you liked a lot? <laughs> you! <laughs> I'm joking. Can I just like write you want this to take down? Note? Take note, write down, take Write this down. in your diary. No, my favorite sighting was when we were at the cheetah sighting. Yes, that was super special. The cheetah calling her cubs and like her frantically looking for them and then eventually seeing each other and then her teaching the cubs to pull the carcass into the shade was incredible. That was insane sighting. It was very, very, very windy. So it was difficult to get her call, the sound captured on video. 
but in the tree right next to um, the cheetah, a drongo was busy calling with her for her cubs. So she was calling and then the drongo was calling right next to her. Drongos do mimic other things, they do mimic other sounds, yeah. other sounds, mostly other predators, um, so that they can chase away other birds and steal their prey. The uh, uh, springbuck was a little bit too big for the drongo there. We, we couldn't capture it on camera. Yeah, because of the wind. Of the wind, but it was pretty cool. It was so special to see. The one thing the, the Khalakhari provides is definitely its quality sightings. Quality over quantity in the Khalakhari. Yeah. Especially uh, if you stay at, uh, at Roipers and Palenzo. Like the, yeah. the, the big advantage for me was uh, like having the road to yourself the first, let's say, hour more, more at the yeah. if you if you go north and Pulenswa like almost, almost the whole day you've whole got day. yourself I think the one day we saw like five cars the yeah, entire day. maximum we saw more lions that's including than cars. our own cars we yeah, were three yeah, yeah. cars staying together yeah. that's including those cars that's great when you when you end the day at Roy Pits, for instance at, at oh, sunset the sunset I know we've said Roy Pits are incredible we've said it like a million times every night you just sit there in awe of these sunsets like I think that's where Roy Pitts gets its name from because Roy Red I think it's yeah, we're like just the, speculating we're, yeah, we're speculating maybe if you know you can comment down below could have been the dunes as well but uh, yeah it's but just... I, I feel like Roy Pitts lets me think of the sunsets and there's yeah. a red 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 sunset which is incredible and then Pulenswa on the other hand yeah. it's just so quiet in the middle of nowhere yeah. with these like open plains in front of you it feels like you are so exposed there. <laughs> like, you. Like, I, I literally I told Stace on our last day to, when we drove back after our last drive, I just told her, oh, yeah. just stop here quickly, like next to the pan. It just take, take in, in for a moment. Take just, in where we are at yeah. the moment. And it was just, that was a special moment, just taking in our surroundings and being like, wow, this yeah. this place is just so incredible. Like, Roipitz was beautiful, but Pulens was still a piece of my heart. Like, Pulens were, like, a little piece of my heart is still in Pulens. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, it was so, so, so special. Um, yeah. And and one thing, Rex, I saw on Facebook, on Khalakhari sightings, that the bathroom, at Pulenswa has been fixed. So no more burnt down bathrooms. So now I you can go we in peace. <laughs> you can go in peace without your spade. You don't need to take your spade with. Uh, take a take a graf, eh? <laughs> Just take in a case. Yeah. That's pretty cool because Pulenswa one definitely has the best view for me. Yeah. Definitely. You can so, literally call that toilet a throw now. So one of the questions that we get a lot is actually to compare the Kruger and the Khalakhari now that we've been to both. And we, we thought long and hard about this. Long and hard. And the verdict was that uh, you, you can't, can't compare it. <laughs> you no just way. can't compare it. It's just uncomparable. The, the Khalakhari is just like peaceful. If you want to go and rest, if you want nobody to bother you, if you just want to go to the bush and just like have peace and quiet and rest and just be and just be one with nature then like the Khalakhari is the perfect place to be especially the bush camps I feel like where we were now like every evening was so special when the Kruger your sightings are more rushed because or you are in a massive traffic jam or cars keep on coming and coming and coming if you spotted the animal so you don't really get animals to yourself in the Kruger um, but you see a lot more you do see a lot more but you can still have instances in the Kruger <laughs> where you see nothing no that's true that's, that's definitely that's true bush. we've had days that you drive and you drive and you see absolutely nothing and then you hear you get back to camp and you go and hear um, from other people and you and drove exactly the same road as them maybe five minutes before them or five minutes after and they saw everything and you saw nothing yeah, that's, it's, the that's just the bush that's, that's the bush. one of those things okay Rex. and then our most frequently asked question is what equipment do we use so because we get it so much and because we want to show you in detail yeah. what what we have and what equipment we use we are going to make a full video so stay tuned for that video if you are excited for that video let us know we'll we'll show you all our equipment that we use that's the end yeah. i think that's the last that we'll post about this Khalakhari trip day 11 yeah. it has come so, to an end that's been an amazing trip and uh, just once again thanks to you guys for for tuning in and uh, it seems like you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. So if you see us, we've got branding now for our car. 
our biggest supporters gave us the branding. Thanks, mom and dad. So if you see us in the Anyway. Where, where we are going next <laughs> you will hear soon but if you see us wherever say hello uh, if you see us on the road give us a hoot give us a wave we'll get a coffee <laughs> get a coffee we'll see you guys in the next one yeah Cheers. thanks for watching Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>